Hi. As promised, I'm going to be shooting a short video on some uh, ripening figs. The first one is uh, the Atriano. These are huge figs. It's been raining like crazy here, so I'm expecting these to burst any minute. Here's one that is probably not ready yet. This one is splitting, so I'll take up pick that one. And there's a couple more here. I've netted them, so there's very little damage from the birds so far. The next one is uh, LSU Gold, and uh, this is not netted, and as you can see, the birds are starting to have a, a go at it. And I think I'll pull this one. This one here is not quite ripe yet. I've eaten uh, maybe about uh, six or seven so far, and uh, the ones that uh, are left alone by the birds actually not too bad. Here's another one here. I think this one's pretty pretty decent, but you can see that it's starting to open up. Again, the rain has been just horrible this year. You might hear some uh, rumbling in the background. Uh, that's the thunder. And uh, it's rained today and it's about to rain again. So I'm gonna hurry here before I get caught. Ah, oh, this is uh, this is my best fig this year, which is the Ronde de Bordeaux RDB, and it has fruited really early. Beautiful black figs. I've had about two or three. I don't know how that one was uh, eaten, since it is netted. And here's a couple more. So I'm very pleased with this so far. I'm going to try to pick some of these and then uh, open them up for you later on. As you can see, even the Ronde de Bordeaux, if given enough water, will open up. These are just starting to open up. So that's that. Let's see if we can open this a little bit one hand. See the inside. Oh, that looks good. All right. Excuse me for a second while I try it. Not bad. It's not watery. Nice and sweet. Mm, not bad, and no no ants. I don't think. This is the big Celeste, and the rain has uh, taken its toll. Uh, however, uh, there are still some really good figs to pick. I picked tons of them already and have made uh, some jam and also some uh, delicious uh, uh, fruit uh, roll-ups or uh, also known as leather. Here's another one. Yeah, they, these haven't opened up. But there are tons that have. So, oops. Oh, waste not, want not. Anyway, I'm going to turn this off and pick some more. Here is my New Jersey Red fig tree in the cage, and it has really started now to ripen. One, 
two, three, four, five, uh, six, and perhaps some more. Uh, there's another one there, seven, eight. So it's in full swing now, and as you can see, none of them are open. The eye is nice and tight. Well, I've gone ahead and picked three New Jersey Reds. There's one, two, and three. And unfortunately, uh, they could have stayed a couple of extra days. Uh, let me see if I can open this one up. Excuse me. Here we go. And let's try it. Not bad, not bad. Two more days and it would have been almost as good as the Ronde de Bordeaux. But that's water under the bridge. This one is a stallion. Uh, Jimmy, JD, has gifted me this one. And it's not protect protected and therefore the birds get to it. Now this to me appears to be relatively small, uh, celeste-like figs. Let's pull this one off. It's not ripe yet, but uh, I'm gonna give it a try. Not bad. This one's kind of rotten. Uh, so I'll just let that go. And here's one also that's kind of rotten. Well, it's not really. I bit the back of it, and it's pretty sweet. It's starting to rain, so I am going to head back and uh, maybe take pictures of the Alma before uh, closing this video. Oh, I think we've lucked out. As I drove back to the house, I noticed that uh, the, green is the green Ischia tree is having its first ripe figs as well. You, you can see this one here is starting to open up, but I think this is the only one because they're pretty pretty good about that. Uh, this is going to be good. And I see a couple more up there. Excuse me while I climb up. Okay. There's, there's one here. My wife would kill for these. These are her favorites. So don't tell her I'm gonna... No, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll save her one or two. Okay, here's the other one. Okay. All right. See how dry this one is starting to become? That's a great sign of good taste. Now it looks ugly but I guarantee it's going to taste really good. Let's see the inside. Oh, beautiful. Look how red it is. It's dry. All right, excuse me. Oh gosh, yes. This is a highly underrated fig. I think everybody should have one of these, along with a uh, Hardy Chicago. So I think I'm going to be a good boy and save these for my wife. 
the poolside almas have started to produce very sparingly but I, I had uh, a few the other day and uh, they are uh, fantastic this is not ready yet that one's almost ready Let's see if I can find one so I can open it up and try it uh, probably not gonna have much luck here I picked one this morning before going to work. I brought it to to the workplace and I sliced it up in my salad and it was really good. Now this is not ready yet but I'm going to pick it anyway. Let's have a quick look to see if there's any on this tree. Usually, you know it's ready when there's a, a drop of honey right from the center there. And so far, they're, they're uh, keeping their eye closed despite all the rain. But then again, it hasn't, 99% uh, uh, of them haven't matured yet. So I don't see any. I think my wife came home early and, and uh, wiped it clean. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and just open it up and this is hard so it's not going to be very good just to give you an idea there we go mmm oh man I was wrong. I, I, even though they could have used another day or two, that was pretty good. Certainly the center. Anyway, going to sign off with a picture of one of the Elmas. Talk to you later. All right, I promise this is the last of the video. Just wanted to show you the fig leather that uh, we made over the weekend. This is, these are from Celeste. And <clears throat> there are five quarts of uh, uh, fig uh, preserve. There's a sixth one in the fridge that uh, is almost half gone.